It has carried me around the world four times. It has put me on this stage tonight. If we do not learn to laugh at ourselves, then we must surely cry. Now give your left muscles a little exercise. It will improve your skin. It will make you beautiful. It will make you more beautiful than Helena Schmaltz ever dreamed of making you. <laughs> By the way, laughter does not make you fat. <laughs> Except that it gives you a better digestion. You'll eat more and grow fat. <laughs> laughter is the cement of marriage. If you marry someone without a sense of humor, you're going to go straight to heaven because you're going to have your hell right here on earth. <laughs> whatever it takes to make a good marriage, whatever bricks make up a good marriage, remember the cement is laughter. One mother was advising her daughter on the eve of her wedding. She says, darling, you're getting married next week. Listen to your old mother. Never, never undress completely in front of your husband. Always keep some of your womanhood in mystery. A week after the wedding, the husband said to his wife, Tell me, does insanity run in your family? <laughs> she said, No, why? That's the third night you've been sleeping with your hat on. You got the picture this time, didn't you? You got the picture. <laughs> if you deal with human beings long enough, you will find at every age, at every stage, in every shape and size, we're always asking or praying for something. Maybe that's why prayer books are so thick. Traveling through Chester, England once, going to the cathedral in Chester, my eye was caught by a little prayer inscribed on the wall of the cathedral. I stopped to read it. I read it and read it and read it. And to this minute, I have not figured out how were they able to condense such thick prayer books into such a tiny prayer. I took out a pencil and paper and I scribbled it down so that I might share it with you tonight. Here is the prayer. Give me a good digestion, Lord, and also something to digest. Give me a healthy body, Lord, and sense to keep it at its best. Give me a healthy mind, O Lord, to keep the good and pure in sight, which, seeing sin, is not appalled, but finds a way to set it right. Give me a mind that is not bored, that does not whimper, whine, or sigh. Don't let me worry over much about that fussy thing called I. Give me a sense of humor, Lord. Give me the grace to see a joke, to get some happiness from life, and pass it on to other folk. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.